21 inch corner shelf from my daughter's house. Uh, we've made several of these for the house and to start off with for the, for the pattern for the rest of the, the shelf we simply are going to use the face of the shelf. I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle at one end, we're going to measure 21 inches and I'm going to cut a 45 at the other end and that becomes our pattern and the face of the front, front or the front of the shelf. So first we cut the first 45 degree angle. one inches down because that's how long the shelf is going to be on the face and we're going to mark it. We want the 45 degree angle to be going the same way so we flip the board over and we cut it. and that now is the face of the shelf and will be the pattern for the rest of the shelf. Next we're going to take that face of the shelf and we're going to take a three quarter inch piece of plywood and we are going to flush the edges of the 45 here and the 45 here so that we get a nice fit and we're going to draw a line. And that is going to be the top of the shelf. So next we're going to do the same thing with the bottom of the shelf. However, it's made out of quarter inch plywood. Now that I have the board marked, I'm just going to simply make the straight cut. Now we're going to make a mounting frame. This is going to be mounted to the wall and everything else is going to cover it up. So it doesn't really matter what kind of wood it's out of, but it has to be a 1x2. We're going to set the 1x2 on end, take the, take the shelf that we made, and flush it up across the front, and we're going to mark two angles. And they are 45 degree angles, but this gets us the exact length without having to measure it. We're going to cut those angles now. Now we're going to cut the other angle. I'm going to flip the saw to the other 45 degree direction. going to be the front of the frame. Okay, now we take the piece that we just, the excess piece we just cut off, and we're going to put it up against this other front piece. Then we're going to take the shelf that's actually it's going to be covering it up, and we're going to line up everything, make sure we got a good tight joint down here, and we're going to mark it right here, and cut it on that line. Okay. We need another piece with a 45 on the end for the frame. So I'm going to take the last, last piece of scrap, and we're going to cut a 45 degree angle. We need to get the length on here, and then we've got all the pieces cut. Okay, to get the length of the last piece, we're going to take this piece out. We're going to match this one up just like we did on the other side. We're again going to lay the shelf on top of the frame. We're going to mark the length of this board right here at this edge. But that's not where we're going to cut it. We're going to measure three quarters of an inch down from that mark. One, two, three quarters. And that is our length. So I'm just going to mark that like this. And this will be the scrap piece. So now, let's cut it. This makes our frame. And it goes in here like this. And that's the reason for the three quarters of an inch cut shorter, is so that these match up at this end. Now, when we go to mount this on the wall, what I do, is so that if you ever want to take it off, I'm going to drill a hole through here, so I can put a long screwdriver through, and, and put drive the screw for the anchor through here. So we're going to pre-drill all this, and it's also necessary to pre-drill this, so that we can mark the anchor, where the anchor goes exactly on the wall, so the screw exactly lines up when we go to mount it. This could be anything, it's going to be a big hole. Choose a bit, slightly the, just slightly bigger than the lag bolt that goes into the anchor, just so you can get it through the hole. And you can drill that anywhere in there, about where we said and marked it, just drill a hole. I'm going to take a 5 8 inch blade bit, and I'm going to drill a big hole. This is only to, to uh, put the screwdriver through when we go to mount the, the uh, shelf to the lag reason for the bigger holes is so that when you go to mount it to the wall, you can get to the screw here. Also, if you ever want to take it off the wall, you can remove the front piece, which is easy to do, and just unscrew it from the, bo the bolt without tearing your wall apart. We're going to assemble the shelf now. And I use a pneumatic nail just because it's easier. You can use a, a, a finished nail or a screw or however you want to put this frame together. Nothing's going to show. It just makes it easier for me because I've got the tool. Put those two together, like so, and we're going to put the 
front piece on. So we went ahead and spray painted the shelves. You can make them any color you want or you can paint and stain them. It doesn't make any difference. And now we're ready to mount the shelf to the wall. Put the shelf on the wall exactly where you want it. And what we're going to do is you're going to take the screw and remember the holes we drilled earlier? We're going to mark the, where we're going to put the anchor with the screw through that hole. Put it up there, tap it, mark the spot exactly where you want the anchor. To use these anchors, they're a very good anchor. And you take a half inch drill bit, you, you go where you mark the hole on the wall, exactly where the hole was marked, and you just simply drill a half, half inch drill. And you do the same on the other side. You take the anchor, put it this way. Anchor goes through the hole. To level the anchor, you, you, these two things go together. Pull against the anchor. Push this slide down. Push as hard as you can. And break it off. Now, this is why we drilled the two big holes. We're going to go through here so we can get to the screw hole here. So, right now, I'm going to put two screws in. I'm going to line them up on the wall where I had it before. And we're going to drive the screws. Now here's where we need the holes. We're going to level this up and drive that in the rest of the way. We're now ready to mount the top, the bottom, and the trim, and then we'll be done. Line it up against the wall. Make sure it's nice and flush across the front. I, got, I take the easier out with my gun. Same thing. Simply goes underneath, line up the front, and staple it into the frame. Final piece is the front. Make sure it's nice and straight, matches up at the walls, and we're going to staple it directly to the... We'll have to fill these holes so you don't want to make too many of them. So that's how you build your custom shelves. If you have anything to comment on or you need help or questions, please comment at the bottom. Mm -hmm.